Good morning, New Mexico. My name is Carlin Stewart. I'm the instructional coordinator at Los Lucetos Historic Site. And as part of our efforts to celebrate Earth Day, which is coming up next week, we are doing a series of live videos today. So right now I am pretty secluded. There are no guests around me. So I'm gonna take this off just for a second so you can understand me better. Um, so this is kind of a bonus live stream. Um, later today, I will be talking about ways to celebrate Earth Day and show you some demonstrations of how to make seed balls and that kind of thing. But today the sun is shining, the air is cool and crisp, the clouds are bushy and lovely, and the blooms are at full peak here um, on our crab apple trees. The actual orchard itself is not quite at full bloom, um, just a couple of trees out of the orchard are blooming. But today I really just wanted to walk you through these lovely trees. This is more of a relaxing video. Um, for a lot of us, you know, uh, can't experience this in person. I know a lot of you guys come from out of state or from different parts in the state and so this is really just so you can enjoy what we are seeing here today. Now there is a thing um, in Japanese culture called forest bathing and forest bathing isn't exactly what you think it is you know it isn't um, actually taking baths um, in nature but it is really about um, bridging the gap between our busy lives um, and and getting out in nature it is about walking through the forest and taking in the sights and the sounds and the smells um, obviously on this virtual video you guys won't be able to smell um, the beautiful blooms but I'm really hoping you can take in the sights and sounds. So we are going to do a little bit of a guided forest bathing exercise right here. I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera around and show you these beautiful trees. All right, so these trees are located again at Los Lucetos historic site and these um, are crab apple trees. And so we don't eat the apples off of these guys, but um, we do admire their beauty when they bloom. So I'm not gonna talk at you too much. Really just wanna say happy early Earth Day. Um, Earth Day was established in 1970 by uh, Senator Gaylord Nelson. Um, and so that is why we are celebrating and here I'm just going to walk you through the trees and stop talking and see if you can hear anything, especially the crunching of leaves below me. And again, when you do forest bathing, you want to really open up your senses. You want to see what you can smell, what you can see. I can describe this to you. And these flowers have a very sweet smell, but you have to get right up to them. You know, it's not an overwhelming smell with all of these, but if I put it right up to my nose, it's very sweet and lovely. Now the sounds I'm hearing include the roosters in the background, the crunching of leaves below my feet. Sometimes our donkey will bray. And there is a slight twittering of birds all around. And Los Lucetos is a important bird area. And we have hundreds of species of birds that come here. You can see the blue sky. The air is cold and crisp from last night's rain and snow. You can see the capilla, the little church, and in the very background, you can see the hacienda. This is one activity that you can do on your own to celebrate Earth Day, even in your own backyard. 
just go in your backyard and lay down and take note of how it makes you feel. You know, I just read a statistic that 93% of time is now spent indoors by the majority of people. And so we want to get you outside. We want you to get you looking at these flowers, taking the sights, sounds, smells, even in the city. You can still hear nature all around you. You can see birds. And as Rebecca mentioned earlier, there are bees also right now. And so those of you tuning in just now, we are just walking through the beautiful crab tree orchard here at Los Suceros and just enjoying the nature. Just enjoying everything around us. I hope that many of you will be able to come out and see this in person. But for those of you that can't, I hope this helps Hopes you, hope it helps you just appreciate how much beauty is here in northern New Mexico and throughout the state. I would love if you guys commented some pictures of what spring looks like where you are. I know we have people coming from all over the country. So just post a picture in the comments of what you're seeing, what surrounds you. The cool thing too is these apple trees align the road, the side road here at Los Suceros. And so you can see the trees here, but beyond that gate, trees go all the way down. At one time, New Mexico was called the Apple Blossom State um, because of these trees and how many there are. So remember, this Earth Day and really all days, get out in nature, soak it up. Sometimes you can keep a journal of what you're seeing, what you're hearing. Here we are looking at the Victorian cottage at Los Suceros historic site. And right in front is an acequia that you can see is a little muddy because we just had it running. And sometimes in the sequia, we can see footprints of raccoons. So if you guys can see, we have some raccoon footprints here. And of course the ground is just full of petals. It has been windy here. So we were a little worried about our apple trees but they seem to survive the cold night and are thriving in this lovely sunny day. So that's all for me, you guys. I just wanted you to see how beautiful it is and experience this even virtually. And so I hope you can come visit Los Suceros historic site to see these in person. You know, they're not gonna last forever, so it's a short time frame. And remember to get out and celebrate Earth Day. Get out of nature. We all could use it right now with all the Zoom meetings. Again, my name is Carlin Stewart and thank you so much for tuning in. Post a photo of what spring looks like to you. Thank you.